Hi, this is Delight Channel. Over the last couple of weeks, we have been talking about succession planning, and today we continue the conversation. Thanks for joining me and welcome. We have been worrying about what it will take for your business to outlive you as an entrepreneur. And um, I started at the beginning of this series by telling you that I will be sharing four principles with you that hopefully will help you achieve that seamless and successful succession. Um, I've shared the first principle with you, which was to acquire the mindset by creating your legacy. The second was that you need to communicate it. It should not just stay in your head. Everybody around you should know. It should be an invitation to everyone around you to, be, to, to take up the challenge, to occupy a position. And number three, which is what we started last week, has to do with how do you then institutionalize it. Now, the institutionalization is very broad. The very first one, which we shared last week, has to do with your business process. What does business process do? It ensures that while you are around and you are present, you are building a system that can check itself. Your organization should not be dependent on whether that person is a good person or a reliable person or not. The system should check itself. The system should validate the people. The system should prove who is working and who is stealing or who is loafing. It should not be because somebody is coming to report or somebody is checking. That's huge. That is big. You certainly may need to seek the help of a consultant and we are happy to help you if you need that service. But that is big, that is huge, that is fundamental. Now, the second part of it then has to do with building, part of the processes you will need to build is the succession management process itself. So I will zero in on that particular process. Now, how does that process work? This is not a knee-jerk, reactionary, emergency process. Succession planning is a systematic, deliberate process that will give you the best shot at producing the best candidate for every position that needs to be occupied in your organization. How does that process work? That process needs to start from when you are hiring people, meaning that you must start with the end in mind. Your goal of finding possible successors to the different roles must shape and influence how you recruit. And then all through the organization, across all levels, across all cadres, there must be a talent management process. This is not just something for you as the CEO. All your direct reports, all your HODs, they must have a pool of talent. There must be a criteria for getting into that pool. There must be a criteria for remaining in that pool. There must be criteria for moving from one level to another level in that system. It is huge. It is robust. I remember reading um, because one of the one of the uh, managers who has influenced my career has been Jack Welch. And I remember studying about General Electric as a, as a whole and reading that at some point, and I think up till now, General Electric has become the factory for manufacturing CEO for the top companies in the American economy. Why? Because of a system like this that I'm talking about. Being in the succession pool is not a secret. You lay it out, there are benefits for people who are in that pool. There are benefits for people who progress in that pool. It is something the smart ones will fight for. It's something they will invest themselves in. They will study for it. They will put in the extra effort, whatever it takes to stay in there. And they will aspire for it. And you see, the value you get from it is not just about finding the successor when you need it. Is the fact that your organization begins to run on steroids. Everybody wants to be in that group. And so there are no rooms for loafers and hangers on. And if you do it well, 
by the time you need to find a successor for any role, your question will not be where would that person come from. Your question will be who will it be out of all of these people? And like I said, some people are afraid, but there's nothing, there's nothing to be afraid of. And I will talk about that in the next point. But the point I'm raising is that you need to build that system. It needs to be ingrained in your culture. Everybody must know about it. It must be something people will aspire for. And if you run it very well, you will never lack a man or a woman to fill a role as you need it in the organization. Again, we can cover all the elements in this one video. If you need help, let us know. We will be very glad to help you run with that because it may be your road to immortality. So, I will be continuing the conversation next week and you sure do not want to miss it. What we are trying to share are four principles that I believe will help you to achieve seamless and successful succession in your organization. Therefore, make it a date with me next week. And until then, feel free to share this. Feel free to write in. Feel free to let us know whatever it is that is making sense to you or what you'd like to see us change. And we will very quickly acknowledge and connect with you because that is why we are here. Until I come your way again next week, don't ever forget that t -Mark is still my name. And all I'm trying to do is what? Make a little difference. So I'll see you next week. Bye.